Merry Christmas everyone, this is IT2 and today I'm going to talk about something other than books because I think I may have found the perfect woman except she's married I think so <clears throat> without further ado I've just been watching the first episode of the new season of Alone Frozen so Alone is a survival show where people get sent to usually Vancouver, Canada or somewhere around in there but this season it was Labrador and then they have this new spinoff called Frozen, where instead of seeing whoever survives the longest, I think they all have to survive for 50 days. And if you do, you win something, or maybe... I don't even know. First guy, he already, like, quit on day five. It's so pathetic. It's always like, oh, I miss my family, and uh, I just need to... They almost want to make a statement about how important family is. And they... At first, he started saying, like, no, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm getting a chance to do it twice, and I think... My kid would understand that and something. He's like, nah, I'm day five. I'm quitting. I'm out of here. I'm going home to see my kid. I'm never going to leave him again. Wow, dude. <laughs> just went back on everything you just said. Anyway, Callie Russell. She's my favorite contestant, I think, of all the seasons. Maybe. Oh, that one guy that was like the fat guy that was kind of younger dude in the first, second season. He was pretty good, too. He kept catching mice. Uh, but Callie is really good. Um, on this episode... She says some things that really make you think. Like, uh, she talks about how she likes eating roadkill. Because it's meat that she doesn't have to kill the animal. And it's like, normally it would have just been wasted. She's taking it out of the waste stream and putting it to use. And it's making the world a better place. Because it's like you're making use of stuff that would have gone to waste. And it's like so important of a thing for me wastefulness and she also just randomly finds like a big flap of seal skin with fat on it and fat is like one of the hardest things to find out in survival she just like boils it up and starts drinking fat <laughs> which is kind of gross but like uh if there was like a dating app or something and you could like ask somebody questions i think one of the questions should be like what's your opinion on eating roadkill because like a lot of these you know like foo-foo women that grew up in society and they don't have any like survival instincts they're all like if there was an emergency like there was a zombie apocalypse they would be worthless and they'd just be like ooh that's gross I don't want anything to do with the roadkill get it away from me and stuff but not, not Cal Cal's got viking blood here I think look at this one picture oh, look at this one that's a viking one right there so there was this show called The Big C it was about a woman who had cancer. Callie also says that she fed herself for like a year off of cuts of meat that would have gone into the dumpster otherwise. And that got me thinking about this cancer show, The Big C. Probably a lot of people didn't see it. There's a guy... Oh, also, if you look up... If it is Callie Russell, the first thing that pops up is married and single. <laughs> Where is she now? What's her net worth? <laughs> is Callie legit? But this, uh, this guy right here, right? Um... Uh, he was in that show. He played the woman's brother, and he was what's called a freegan. If you don't know what a freegan is, a freegan is like a dumpster diver. People that try to eat for free without spending any of their own money. They're pretty much like homeless on purpose because they're really supreme, extreme environmentalists. Let's say. I think he had like a degree, so he could have gotten a job, but he's just like. You see the waste in the world, and it drives you crazy, and it makes you want to live this lifestyle where you just. Living out on the streets and surviving off of, out of dumpsters and trying to like spread the message to other people and that got me thinking on this whole thing about like how did you how do you improve the world in a lasting way and like get the information to everybody at once because that's the main problem is I don't bother with stuff like uh like a lot of these things like if nobody else is gonna do it like why am I gonna do it because you have to like get everybody convinced that it's a good thing all at the same time. Even, like, if you had, like, a hit TV show, like, if you had Game of Thrones or something that a huge amount of the population watched, like, if they had some message at the end of the show, like, and don't litter, kids, or, like, also eat roadkill animals because it'll save the environment. But, I mean, it makes you wonder, like, like, a lot of this stuff, if we all did a little bit of things like this, it would have a huge impact. But how do you communicate it to everybody at once? 
and like um, there's so much waste. I think I talked before about I went to like a Fred Meyer's when they had these huge bins of just different kinds of nuts and vegetables that you never heard of and like nobody ever buys it and so they probably end up throwing it out. Like the amount of stuff people just throw away you would think would make up for like the increased prices on food right now. But then again, even though food right now is insanely expensive, it's probably actually becoming about what the price should have been all along because we still have all this waste. We're still wrapping everything in plastic. We still have like fruits and vegetables. People like individually wrap apples in a piece of plastic for some reason. They earn orange and it has like a, you know, a protective layer already around it. Like why the fuck would you put it in plastic? And then you gotta you gotta think about like, oh well, if we fed somebody something that's like a day old, or if it's expired, then we could get sued, and that's gonna cost us millions in the long run. And it's like, you could. I mean, it's better to throw it away because of the money amount would be making up for more than if you had to redo stuff. And it's like, oh god, it hurts your brain just thinking about it. But you'd think like, I mean, we live on a system also that's cyclical. Like you produce things on a farm and then they have a certain amount of time they're going to go bad if you eat them or not so you got to get them into the stores and then everything's super cheap because you got so much that you end up throwing half of it away like why are you making you shouldn't be making as much if you're going to throw half of it away and first you could make something else maybe or spend your time better i don't know there's something you could do this is why i think i need to be in charge of some stuff because if i was a president or a congressman or something i would have like the power to spend money, to pull in teams of smart people to just think about things like this. And I'll be thinking about things like this all day because I do anyway. I come up with that stupid skill tree for getting jobs idea. But like uh, one of the things, this is like a dumb idea that I saw. Uh, CGP Gray, I think on YouTube, was the one who made a video about this thing called a traffic snake. Because I was thinking about this in traffic the other day. Like if you leave three seconds of distance between all the other cars like if somebody has to stop quickly it doesn't really affect the whole people for miles and miles behind you because if you ride everybody's bumper then somebody stops and everybody has to stop because you're suddenly stopping and then it causes this whole traffic snake thing where everybody gets congested and it all like piles up but uh, apparently this way down here the bottom way is way better I mean I still, yeah because it dies out really quick you get a traffic snake but then it's like doesn't stay with the whole yeah, I was just thinking like how would you communicate a simple idea like that to like everybody because if everybody just started driving with like a three second distance between the first car above them and the one behind you knew what to be doing so then everybody there wouldn't be any congestion you wouldn't need like 18 lane highways and shit I assume maybe in some places you still would but this is the thing I, I stay up late and I think about. How do you fix the world's problems if you can't get everybody to do what your idea is? <clears throat> Let's say, for example, if you killed off all the people that were like wasteful people and like the world was only populated by Callies, would that. Should we do a genocide? <laughs> Should we do a Hitler genocide? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like, if everybody was on the same page and if they were here's what you do you make laws that if people don't get on the same page if they don't like start doing shit like this recycling your aluminum cans for example or make people that produce oranges stop wrapping shit in plastic like make laws against this kind of thing and then if you don't do it death penalty I mean if you just put up a monetary penalty that's just like a roadblock for they could just get around that. The thing about... <laughs> what was that saying about, like, if something has a fine, then it's not illegal. It just has a price or something like that. There was a, a really good quote about that. You'd have to have something to, like, really discourage people doing it. Like, you won't fucking die. <laughs> something like that. But we've got to start doing some of these things. And it's probably already too late anyway. People say the Earth is going to be destroyed because the environment's so bad. But... With the internet, everybody has the internet now, pretty much. You'd think you'd be have like some kind of, I don't know, like a uh, 
advice of the day or something. You wake up in the morning, you check your thing, and it's like, here's what we need to start doing. This is the new thing. And, and this is how it gets done. Everybody has to do it now. <laughs> I don't know how, how would you make everybody start doing it, though. Because a lot of people are assholes, and they're just going to like be like, I don't agree with that. I'm not going to do that. So you have to have a way to scientifically prove that you got all these fucking stupid people that are religious. That's why you, you got to like kill everybody, I think. I think you just got to kill off <laughs> a great deal of the population. The problem I'm having is that 80% of the world is stupid. If we just had the 20% of us that are smart, or we made the other 80% have to become smart, that's maybe the way to do it. You have to... Education right now is so bad though, right? You got all these people teaching like trans shit and gay shit in the schools. It's like indoctrinating kids to be gay. And it's like, that's not what school's for. They're not even learning the shit that was trash education before they started doing that. It's so garbage, dude. I wouldn't even, if I had a kid right now, I would not send them to a public school. At all. That's so crazy that people do that. And they think it's fine. Do you trust like the school system right now to like teach your kid things? <laughs> Lord, what are you doing? One well, of my best friends from high school is a teacher. And I, I don't know what he thinks about this, but like, you just can't trust people. I'd have to like go to school every day and make sure they're teaching them right. It would drive me crazy. <laughs> I don't know what you do, dude. But I was thinking the other day about maybe making like, I don't know, like a website that has a bunch of videos that teaches you like basic skills that you need to know. That would be like a curriculum for like homeschooling or like, I don't know. I don't know how you would even get started on fixing all these problems, but I kind of see the solution in my head, but I can't like implement it. I have no power. Why am I so goddamn powerless, everyone? I'm T2. I should be in charge of something. I don't want to be, but I feel like I need to be because everything's going to shit so bad. So I just like escape into like TV shows and movies and books and read all day because it can't really affect the, the real world so why bother trying but man I would if I could should I start a crowdfunder or something some kind of like a crowdfunding for like a billion dollars <laughs> instead of buying the castle and having a bunch of gamers sitting there kind of maybe like start a campaign for T2 to run for office nobody would vote for me Maybe democracy is the wrong way to go. I know capitalism is probably not the right way to go because every problem we have, it's like, oh, I'll just you got to think about the, the bottom line and making money and how how does it fit into the economy. But that's not really it's not really going to solve any problems that way. That's why we haven't gone off the fucking gasoline engine yet. We've got all these electric cars, but then coal is making the electricity. And we had this way to split water into hydrogen and oxygen and use hydrogen powered cars but then they people who invent those they end up dead somehow it's really weird how that happens but then you also gotta use a lot of electricity to do the hydrolysis thing or whatever that splits it and then you're back to coal again so there was a breakthrough the other day where somebody ignited something and the people that are working on fusion they reached the ignition phase I don't know if that means we're going to start having clean like completely free energy pretty soon because we're fusion is basically you take hydrogen and you fuse it into helium right and you get a byproduct of helium 3 or something or oh it's tritium and ditrium or something like that I don't know yeah it's like isotopes of hydrogen but it's like it's too little too late I think on that like we should have been colonizing planets and shit by now. You read the expanse and like we don't have no beltas. We got no we got no Martians. We should be on Mars. Or Ganymede. We should be on Ganymede, like farming. We need aliens to come down and help us then. Well I've gone from <laughs> I've gone from eating seals to aliens. Just the more you think about these problems. The crazier those solutions have to be because nobody's working on any of them. Everybody's working about how they can get Trump back in office. I'm like, oh my god, dude. We don't need more Trump. It's not going to solve anything. We don't need more Biden either. We don't need no more Democrats and no more Republicans. Fuck. There should be a law. You can't be president anymore if you're a Democrat or if you're a Republican. Those things we know don't work. They're bad. We can't have those things anymore. You have to be like something else. 
I don't care what, just something else. <laughs> but those two things are horrible. I, I don't know. The more I think about this, I'm thinking I'm getting close to some good <laughs> solutions, guys.